Witcher contracts in The Witcher 3 are the one thing I notice a lot of people seem to skip over. Sure, the premise is the exact same for each contract. You meet with the client, investigate the monster attack, slay said monster, then return to the client and collect your reward. Or maybe not collect your reward, depending on the contract. However, many contracts stick out like a sore thumb. But a sore thumb is a terrible way to describe it as these contracts are, in my opinion, the best contracts in The Witcher 3. Unlike my last video on the best side quests in The Witcher 3, I actually took the time to put these in order. So my very favorite contracts will be at the end. Make sure to leave a comment telling me what Witcher contracts are your favorite and why. The first contract is set around the town of Larvik within the Skellig Archipelago. The village elders hire you to deal with a mysterious monster that has ambushed some of the villagers by blocking the road with a broken cart. The Larvik warriors who went after it know nothing other than the fact that it can set traps. And the only monster I know of that can set traps is those pesky little Neckers. So you set off to the ambush site to confirm that these were in fact Neckers up to their old tricks again. The tracks lead you to a cave full of said Neckers, where you are confronted by the Alpha Necker. The boss fight itself is actually fairly easy, after all, it is just a stupid Necker. But the Necker gang leader will spawn seemingly endless waves of Neckers. You see, Neckers are a cesspool of mutagens. Lesser, of course. The correct mutagen for a lesser species. So you can use this contract to farm mutagens, which do indeed come in handy. Plus, I just like to beat up on filthy Neckers. And for being such a small minority of the monster population, they seem to be the most violent and obnoxious. They also seem to commit half the monster attack. The Witcher 2 has two separate paths you can take, and depending on which path you choose, it's basically a completely different game. But what if there was a Witcher contract that had two different versions? This is the contract in the heart of the woods. This contract is brought to you by a man named Sven. The village is under attack by an ancient lesion known as the Woodland Spirit. The village elders, however, worship the thing and don't want to anger it. So you have two options. You can either help the village elders continue worshipping something that wants them dead, or you can help Sven kill the lesion once and for all. The only issue is that the lesion will not actually die because it has marked one of the villagers. After searching the village, you find out that the lesion has marked none other than Sven's lover, or maybe his sister. Perhaps both. The game doesn't clarify. You can either banish her or straight up have her executed. Either way, you can now confront the Woodland Spirit and defeat it once and for all. Once you return to the village, you will see Sven has killed the village elders anyway, and the rest of the village will stand over the bodies and scream in distress and perpetuity. This Witcher contract has two separate paths you can take, and I only explained the correct one. I won't spoil the other one for you. The Beast of Honorton is a contract that takes you to the small town of Honorton, but once you arrive you see that the entire town has been slaughtered and is overrun with monsters. After you kill the monsters and investigate the town, you'll discover that a singular little girl has survived. Just don't tell Drake. She will tell you that it was another witcher that slaughtered the town, and this is where the contract ends and the quest where the wolf and cat play begins. So for this quest, you have to leave the little girl in the middle of the forest to confront this witcher, who turns out to be from the school of the cat, but he reveals that the village ripped him off and then tried to have him killed. So he kinda got a little angry and lost his temper. He ended up slaughtering the entire village, not just the men, but the women and children too. You have the option to kill him, but if you choose to spare him, Geralt will sympathize with him. They call me the Butcher of Blaviken, for good reason. I know how it is. Sometimes, sometimes heads just roll. Afterwards, you can take the little girl back to her auntie in Oratin to finish the quest. But a few days later, if you decide to revisit Oratin, this little girl will call you out and give you a drawing that she made of you. This is the best quest reward in the entire game. But sometimes it's more about the journey, and this next contract is all about the journey. No, I mean literally. This contract is all about your journey from the start of the game all the way until this very moment. But what is the contract, you ask? It's the contract Skellig's most wanted. You see, according to the contract giver, a bunch of dirty little degenerate Neckers are out attacking random people again. He says Neckers attacked his caravan and killed his traveling companion. So you have to investigate where these supposed Neckers have been setting up their trap, but upon doing so, you realize that Neither the horse or traveling companion indicated being killed by Neckers, and a giant boulder will come tumbling down the mountain and almost kills you. So you head over to where the boulder came from, then follow the tracks back to a cave. Once you enter the cave, you will get trapped inside where you encounter yet another trap of Andregas. Once you defeat the insectoids, you will find out that the Necker prints were merely Necker feet that have been turned into boots, along with the location of an ambush point. Once you arrive to the ambush point, you are confronted by a troll, 
a godling, a doppler, and a very angry werewolf. You see, this is kind of a conclave of monsters who have taken up arms against humans who set out to kill them, and you have to convince them that you are a friend of monsters. You do this by recollecting all of the sentient monsters you have saved or spared throughout the main story, side quests, and other witcher contracts. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all, because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds, protect both. We kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. If you manage to convince them that you are a friend of monsters, you'll still have to fight the very angry werewolf, and if not, well, you'll have to fight all of them. Minus the godling. Let's leave the children out of it, Chris Tyson. I really like this contract. It just shows that not all monsters are actually monsters. Ideally, you'll want to do this contract last. Otherwise, you won't be able to convince them that you're not a bad guy. But you will also get these cute little necker hide boots as a reward. This next contract is another contract within the Skellig Isles called Missing Miners. You start this next contract by talking to the village elder. He will tell you that a group of miners have gone missing. So you need to make your way over to the the miners campsite and follow the trail all the way to the big cave. Inside this cave, while on the hunt for those missing miners, you will find Drake. I mean a troll named Whamma Wham, and I promise he is of legal age, because apparently some people think liking people in their 20s is the same as liking a 12 year old. I would absolutely demolish Millie. You see, some people from the village wanted to mine for riches, but in the process they disrupted Whamma Wham's home, so he decided to absolutely demolish the villagers. Now you don't have to kill the troll, in fact if you ever voluntarily choose to murder these beautiful and innocent creatures, you are subhuman trash. The only thing worse than killing a troll is killing Saskia. But if you tell Troll not to go wham on man, cave peace go sleep, man's no boom wham a wham home. I'll let it slide this time, but kill any other humans and I'll come back and cut off your head. Understand? No! Words are words many! Hurt egg! Let me try again. Wham a wham man's again. I'll swish a swash a swunk you. Oh. No more troll wham. Any quest that involves these beautiful trolls is always just a hoot. But once you return to the village elder, you will kinda get a little angry that you didn't kill Whamma Wham. Alright, this last contract is by far my favorite contract, for no particular reason. And that would be the Oxenford Trunk. The only three things I care about are booze, boobs, and dragons. And this contract has a lot of booze. Oxenford has been plagued with a creature of the night. Men who go out at night are not coming home. Upon investigating the bodies, you'll learn that this creature is none other than a vampire. But this vampire vampire only likes blood with high levels of alcohol content. So in order to lure out this vampire, you have to get absolutely wasted. Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass, or did your enterprise go under? Neither, just part of the job. Once you get completely inebriated, you have to take a stroll around Oxenfurt while acting like a total buffoon. Eventually, this vampire will call out to you, where Geralt decides to drop the hardest one-liner in gaming history. I sense your blood. Come out and fight, bitch. Once you fight him, the vampire will flee to a small house where you can trap him and defeat him for good. Alright, that was the best Witcher contracts in The Witcher 3. If you want to see more Witcher 3 related content, then feel free to subscribe and maybe consider becoming a channel member. I also have a Discord that I'm still learning how to use if you want to join that as well. Anyways, I'll see you later.